at home, guess what? Today, we're making an economy bowl out of mahogany. Sweet, all right guys, so an economy bowl is basically building a single bowl out of a single plank of wood. Uh, today I've chosen mahogany. Uh, so the way we're gonna start this project is my blank here is about 35 uh, inches, 35 and 1 8 inches. So what I want to do is find the center. So uh, the center of our blank is going to be about 17 and uh, 5 8 So we're going to go ahead, make a mark there. Let's go ahead, double check it on the other side. We match up. So what we want to go ahead and do is... Uh, Mark our line right down the center. And what we're going to do to this board is we're going to cut it right down the middle. What I want to go ahead and do now is uh, take them over to the joiner and I'm going to actually joint these two sides. Uh, first thing you always want to check, uh, make sure uh, your table is 90 degrees to itself. Make sure uh, your fence is 90 degrees to the table. So now we're going to go ahead, take our mahogany pieces run them through. Uh, remember light passes are always best at the at the jointer. There, that's going to give us a nice glue line right down the center. So uh, the stock that I'm using in this project is uh, three quarters of an inch thick. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do now is we want to lay out consecutive rings. So uh, for you guys at home, depending on what stock you're using, uh, each one of my rings is going to be three quarters of an inch bigger than the last because I'm using three quarter inch stock. So if you at home have one inch stock, you're going to make each consecutive circle one inch. If you have, let's say, seven eighths of an inch stock, you're going to make each ring seven eighths of an inch larger. Uh, the only thing that varies uh, from board to board is how big you're going to make uh, the bottom of your bowl. So let me go ahead, let's grab our calipers and let's start laying out our economy bowl. All right guys, so now we're set up for a little bit of layout. Uh, this is really easy. Uh, what I did before I got started was uh, I had a couple scrap pieces of mahogany. I cut out a six inch circle. Uh, that's what I want my base to be. And then I glued on uh, a separate little piece here. This is gonna fit into the chuck on my lathe. So uh, that is something that I did set up. So with that being six inches, uh, I want my second half of the bottom uh, to start uh, right in the center of my board. So I went, I used my tape measure, I found the center of my board. Now I've got my compass set to just a little bit bigger than what I've got here. So I'm gonna do about six and uh, a quarter inches on that. So I've got my compass set to three and one eighths. So I'm gonna go ahead, draw a circle. And that's going to be our starting point. So uh, since my stock is three quarters of an inch, uh, we need to come out uh, every uh, three quarters and uh, mark a new line. So I'm going to just use my ruler for that. Another way you can do it to save yourself some time is to take your uh, compass, if you've got two of them.
close them up and just open them to that three quarters mark like so boom and then from the outside of each line you can go ahead and plot your course that way so there's a lot of ways you can get this layout done uh, those are just a few uh, that I've suggested so we'll go ahead and we'll finish marking out our circles I've got my table uh, tipped to 45 degrees. I've got, I think it's a quarter inch blade on this. Uh, that's plenty big enough uh, to turn the radius of this bowl. So let's go ahead, let's kick on the bandsaw. Let's get these pieces cut out. Woo! Sweet, let's go finish up the other half. <laughs> We've got all of our pieces cut out. Uh, that took a good 16 minutes. So now what we have to go ahead and do <laughs> is glue all of our ends together. Uh, let me show you guys how I go ahead and do that. Is uh, start from the bottom and we gotta get these uh, glued up. I don't know uh, what the best way is to clamp these. So I went uh, over to the hardware store and I found something that DAT makes. Uh, it's a rapid fuse, uh, all purpose adhesive. It bonds virtually everything is what it says. Uh, sets in 30 seconds. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be the clamp and I'm gonna hold these together like so after I glue them and we'll slowly work our way around. So we gave that half an hour to dry, uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, this is kind of the shape and size of a bowl that I ended up with. Uh, it's pretty big. We could put a lot of fruits and vegetables in that. I think that's awesome. We could put a lot of stuff in it. I like bowls that you can put a lot of stuff in. So now, the next step is we need to work on gluing the rest of this up. So what I did, I took the flattest uh, surface in my workshop. I taped some uh, sandpaper to it. Now it's all a matter of getting it flat. So I'm gonna work on all these pieces, all these edges. I'm gonna get that little bit of extra glue off of there. That's gonna give us a pristine finish. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead, glue it up, attach this thing to the lathe, and finally get some turning.
got the bowl glued up. I can't believe it. That's awesome. She's kind of creaking. I uh, got creative uh, with my glue up. You guys could probably do the same. Uh, the most challenging part of this job is probably the glue up. So <laughs> that's what I did. I had these little rib pieces down here on my lay. I don't know if you can see that, but ended up using those to, to get it mounted and uh, glued up. Now we're going to just let it kind of sit there overnight, let it cook, and uh, tomorrow morning we'll be able to get an awesome bowl out of this. I can't wait to put stuff in it, guys. Woo! Ladies, gentlemen, good morning. We've got the bowl attached to the lathe. We've got a fresh edge. I think it's about time we get some turning done. <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead, let me swing you guys around. We'll kick this thing on and uh, make some shavings. All right, sweet guys. So I've got you here on the back end. Uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I set my lathe to 400. I'm gonna go ahead and work on this little bottom area. Then I'll be able to get my tool rest in there and start uh, shaving down the side of my bowl. Here we go. We finished the outside, uh, that turned out uh, really nice. So now we're gonna go ahead and work on the inside. Let me go ahead and square the front of this up and then we'll work into our bowl. Ladies, gentlemen, the bowl is done. Guess what's left? <laughs> I gotta sand it. So that means uh, I went ahead, uh, like always, I took that vote and uh, y'all said you don't want to see that. So uh, give me some time. Let me grab uh, like four or five different grits of sandpaper and get this sanded, shined up, and we'll be able to finish it. Woo! Ladies, gentlemen, we're done sanding. Yeah! All right, sanded it down to 400. Uh, two coats of sanding sealer. This is where we're at. I've got my friction polish here. Let me grab some uh, napkins. We'll kick the lathe on. I want to bring you guys in just a little bit so you can go ahead and watch how this comes alive. This is going to be really cool, guys. I'm super excited. All right, let's get her done.
Now that is a fantastic finish. Guys, if you want to see how I've made this finish, I've got a couple other videos. I'll put the descriptions of those uh, down below and you'll be able to click on that and see how you guys at home can make this amazing finish. Ladies, gentlemen, project's done. Here's the bottom. It was a little dodgy cutting this thing off, but I did it. Yeah. But all in all, uh, the economy bowl is fantastic. This thing is gigantic. It's bigger than my chest. I'm about to take this into my wife. We're about to make a giant salad. It's going to be amazing. Guys, if you like this video, be sure, give me a giant thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe. Thank you.